Hi everybody, this is Kelvin Zhang from Co-Workshop Solutions. Today I would like to demonstrate how to set up curtain e-locker protection for SolidWorks EPDM system. EPDM is a product data management system that allows companies to store and manage their design files. With e-locker protection, we can make sure users cannot take the files from EPDM system to other locations if they are not authorized to do so. Before we go through the steps of setting up the protection for EPDM system, I would like to briefly introduce the architecture of Curtain Yorker. In many companies, they are using file server to store and share information internally. Authorized user can log into share folder to access files inside. When users have the rights to access those folders, they can take the files out of the company through different channels, such as USB disk, email, printer, and etc. With Curtain eLocker, administrator can define which share folder they want to protect. If users need to access those eLocker protected share folders, they need to install our current client on their workstations. During the installation of current client, a local protected directory will be automatically created in users' workstations. Then, it forms a protected zone. Actually, protected zone is combined by two areas protected share folder in server side and the local protected directory in user's workstation. Control the files can be used in these two locations. User can directly open a file in share folder or download it to the local protected directory. If they are not authorized, they cannot copy the file to other locations or even attach the file to an email. That is the architecture of Curtain eLocker. We have another demo movie which demonstrates the basic functions and features of Curtain eLocker. You may refer to that movie for the basic function of eLocker. In this demo movie, we focus on the protection for EPDM system. The design of protecting EPDM system actually is the same as the design of protecting a file server. Now, the backend system is EPDM system. Administrator can enable eLock protection to the EPDM system. Then, user have to install current client on their workstations. Files from EPDM system can be only checked out to the local protected directory. It means the local firmware is under the local protected directory. As a result, files can be only used within the protected zone. Now, let me go through the steps to set up the environment. There are three steps. Firstly, we need to protect the port number 3030 in current admin. This port is used by the EPDM system. After protecting this port, the EPDM system will be protected by Curtain eLocker. Secondly, we need to add an additional local protected directory in Curtain Admin. Finally, we use EPDM view setup to set local firewall to the additional local protected directory. Let's set up the environment now. I have an EPDM server on Windows 2000X server and an EPDM client on Windows 7. On the server, I have installed kernel server components which includes Curtain Admin 
and curtain server plugin. Step one, in curtain admin, file settings, we go to the server information tape, we add the server information first. We can use the server name or IP address of this server. My server name is M32W2K8. Click OK. Then we go to the port protection tape. Enable the port protection. Select the server, port 3030, and select TCP for the protocol. Click OK. OK. Yes, to push the setting to the server plugin, click Close. Step 2. In curtain admin, we go to the control proxy group that contains the user's workstation. In this demo, the workstation is under default control proxy group. So select the default group, right click, properties, select additional protected directory. Enter the path. For example, C, EPDM, click Add button. OK. Step 3. We go to the user's workstation. Start menu, programs, curtain e locker, secure applications. Under secure application, there are some curtain e locker shortcuts. We double click. Secure EPDM will set up. Login. Next, next, and select the path of the additional local protected directory. We have enter C colon EPDM. We select this folder for the local file wire. Next, finish, close, done. Finally, we select the shortcut of secure EPDM client. Right click, properties. We add the folder C colon 
slash dpdm to the shortcut. Okay. We can open this QE PDM client now. Copy. You can see a small red icon at the top right corner. It means the EPDM client is protected by curtain locker. When you click this small icon, you can see the user permission. This is the default control policy. The user can work with the file within the protector zone, but the user cannot take the file to other location, cannot send it, print it, or even copy the content to other locations. We can access the design file within the EPDM system. I can simply double click this design. This design file is a SOLIDWORKS file, so it is opened by SOLIDWORKS. The same as the EPDM client, this SOLIDWORKS is protected by curtain e-locker. You can see this, this small red icon. And when you click this icon, you can see the user permission. It means I can work with this design drawing, but I cannot save it to other locations. If I try to save this drawing design, save as to other locations. Um, let me try to save it to the desktop. Um, that is out of the protector zone. Save. Then you can see I cannot save it to the desktop. Let me try again. Save. Still, I cannot save it. So, user can only work with the file within the protect zone. They cannot take the file out of the zone if they are not authorized to do so. We have already completed the setup. User can access the EPDM system under eLocker protection. In some cases, if you don't want to control some VIP users, we have a function called exception. Amin can allow some workstation to access the EPDM system without curtain e-locker protection. Before finish this demo movie, I would like to introduce our FAQ database. You can find a lot of useful information there. First, you go to our corporate website www.coworkshop.com You can find FAQ under support and downloads. FAQ database. You can search related topics 
by keywords. For example, let me enter EPDM. Search. You can find some related topics. For example, how to protect the EPDM system. You can follow the steps in this FAQ. This is the end of this demo movie. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.